Right then, welcome back. Uh, today, well, it's new bike day, uh, and we're going to have a little dabble on this, the 2014 uh, Suzuki GSX-R 1000. Um, feels like a while since we've done what I would call a full-fat superbike. We've been dabbling with either older stuff or stuff like in the, in the middleweight category, if you will. Uh, but yeah, full-fat superbike proper um feels like a little while so out of the box 182 horsepower 203 kilograms so not exactly shabby fully tuned up <laughs> 223 horsepower and 182.8 kilos now anything over 900 is going it's like really really going uh, and we're at 912 yes there are a couple of suzukis that are more powerful but hmm this could this could be quite tasty um event wise we are gonna have a little dabble around the stock 1000 cup in the america's league uh the tracks are gonna be give me one second uh road america the kink so that's the one with just the fast Right hand bend instead of that horrible chicane. Into Lagos, cloudy, which we like, and Laguna uh, night race at Laguna Seca, but we can't I guess we can't pick and choose uh, what we're going to do too much. We've just got to work our way through the events. Um now I ha I have done this series of races on this bike before, but not with the setup kind of mentality and methodology that we've been using. So we will go and have a dabble. And I've kept the times, the total race times, from the first time I did them. So we can sort of have a look and see how much of a difference the uh, the different approach to setups makes. Setup-wise, yeah, look, it's all over the shop. So we reset it to 8 and 2. Um, and then we'll put some tyres on it. Oh, rebound's half, isn't it? Comp's half. No, comp's the same. It's the rear that it's half. Oh yeah, we've been nowhere near this for a long time. 213, I think that's enough. Tire-wise, five laps, 1,000cc bike. I'll go medium, medium, and electronics-wise, we'll do anti-wheelie two, engine braking two, and we'll do no traction. That was full concentration through there. It was moving about. It wanted to slide, wheelie. It wanted to do everything but go around that corner. Yeah, we're going to have to make some tweaks to this one. Oh, dear me. Yes, that's what happens when you're an idiot. Right, straight away it wants to wheelie. It is trying to wheelie everywhere, so I'm going to knock the spring hardness down. It wasn't really warming the rear tyre up, and it was warming the front up. So we're going to change the tyres before we go anywhere. We're going to go hard front. No, in fact, we'll go hard front medium rear, just because I think the soft's going to get annihilated. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go down. Oh, get on them brakes, get on them brakes. I didn't want to stop then. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I was scared of. Right, we're going to have to do some setup on this, aren't we? So, it's wanting to wheelie all the time. The R1s want to wheelie all the time. So, we're going to have to go down a click on that, down a click on that, up a click there. We want the compression of the bike to slow, and we want the rebound. We want it to try and keep the back support. So, I'm going to go to two bit weird but it should make sense it also did not like that hard front tire so we'll bite the bullet we'll go medium soft right let's see how that goes dear me that is not what we wanted should make it fun though no it won't because we'll just hit the back of the panigale right let's try that again Oh, that was close. Oh, don't do that. 
might have seen a bit of his body that I don't think he wanted me to see. Oh, she's good on the brakes now. I should have left the preload where it was and dropped the spring hardness down. But well, we've improved, I say we've improved, we have improved the braking performance with with that one click off the preload at the front. It now wants to bite with the tyre rather than just pushing wide. It actually wants to turn in. That's why I'll, be, I'll run over the inside curve a few times because it'll catch me out. Yeah, the rear, the rear's way too stiff on that spring. Just a nice bit of slide with the engine braking on two. Don't mind a bit of slide. Slide it in and slide it out. Should have gone to second. Well, the Panagalis aren't catching us. So she's reasonably fast in a straight line. Oh yeah, it's lovely. Just starts to move. Let the brake pressure. Oh, that curb. Let the brake pressure off. We're slowly pulling a gap. Just about right. Yeah, it wants to go on the back. Sliding on the gas, that's all, oh, we are wide there. Sliding on the grass, on the grass, we were on the grass, but sliding on the gas, just that initial, that initial tap on the throttle, just letting the back end move about, always a sign that the rear spring's a bit stiff. So we get a penalty for that, but not the other one, okay. Gaps down to three tenths, we're wide, wide, wide. Just struggling to steer it on the gas at the minute with the back end being so stiff. Second through that last corner works much better. Well, we managed to get that lead back, so we know what we need to do. We need to lap about 203, 202, get off the curb. Tires are nice as well, although the rear's only got 32, 31 left, so we could be in a spot of bother with that. Mind you, if it gets to that stage, I'll just stick the traction on one, and we'll just... We'll just look after that rear tyre. That is a horrible little bit of the track, look at that. Slides on the way in, gets a bit of a wobble on, and then runs wide. Yeah, I need to 
we need to reset the preload and put the spring on. Excuse me, put the spring on zero. That's wide. Oh my lord, that was right to the edge of the track. Somehow we are a third of a second quicker, and I don't know how. Oh, that was dodgy. Go on, Mr. Suzuki. Lost all that time in that last sector. You can see how rigid it is on the rear, it just doesn't move. You get on the gas and it just picks the front wheel up. It's cooking that rear tyre as well. Oh, that was late. Oh, that was very late. Oh, it does not like that bit of the track. Settle down. At least she turns in now. We were struggling with massive understeer the first couple of times. Eight tenths, really? second gap we're not flying away at the front I mean we've got a decent enough lead I'm not going to complain about that She's getting, she's getting a bit feisty now with that back hoop. What's she on? Seven percent. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'll tell you where this track would be good. Kyle Army. Oh, sorry. This track. This bike. This bike would be awesome at Kyle Army. nice just started using a bit of rear brake the last two laps and it's just helping turn the bike into the corner obviously you can't really use a rear brake around here well you can but you'll have a massive accident avoided that bump all the race as well then lap five I mean, we don't want to be making a mistake we go right over it Nice. So on the way in and through the corner, she's really good. It's on the way out where we've got the issues with the overly stiff rear end. 
I mean, everyone likes a firm backside, I get that, but not on a motorbike. It's got to be supple and pliant. Well, there we go. That's that done. So, last time I did this, which is a long time ago, I did total race time 11.15.502. And now I've done 10.22.943. That is a considerable difference. Hmm, interesting. Lap time wise, we did a 2.13.7 last time, 2.02. We are 50, no, sorry, 11 seconds, 11 seconds a lap. Yes, all right, I get we are probably, I'm probably better on the game now than I was then. But even so, that is still, that is a considerable margin. So we did a 202 point, 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 991. 202.991. And we've done a 201, wow. A 201.3, what's that, 1.6 seconds. So where would that 202.9 put us? Top 150. Oh, yeah. Easy. 202.991 would have put us 123rd. So we'll tag 120, whatever it was, second. Um, and that's what we're going for. 201.3. Ooh. 157. That is quick. That is really fast. And it's all the quick stuff in it. M1000, V4R, Panagali's, Super Naked, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's all rather rapid, but we'll go and see if we can't sort it out. We'll also sort the setup out because we went the wrong way with the preload and the spring. So we're going to put the preload back up to 8. So that'll go back to eight, spring to zero, rebound to one. And that should, <laughs> that should sort us out. Um, we'll go medium soft, max grip, um, 202.190 on the blade. You see, that's nearly, still nearly a second, isn't it? 202.201.3, yeah. I, I'm not saying it's going to be good. Oh, the tyres every time. But we'll give it a go. We'll see where we land. The back end of that lap was nicer until that last corner where the back tyre dug in. Two one point seven. Right. We know there's at least a second to come out of that though. Come on, little Suzuki. So close. Two minutes and three. There's got to be four tenths of a second somewhere, aren't they? God damn it. And this is the problem. When do you stop? When do I stop? When do I say, do you know what? I'm happy with that. We've beat all the ghosts, recommended ghosts, so. Really? Even the computer's having a nightmare now. We've beat all the recommended ghosts, so that means, in theory, for this bike, we've gone as fast as anyone ever has. Tough call. Oh, that was very, very, very on the limit. Is it faster running over the curve on the exit from turn one? I don't know. We'll see how much of a, a gap we have, whether it's positive or negative down here. That was good, that was nice. That was about the perfect breaking point. 
One ten. Oh, that was nice as well. Oh. Just got to keep this up now for the rest of the lap. Don't run wide. Don't run on the dirt. There's a bit of time through this fast right kink. There you go. That's why it's called the kink course. There's a bit of time through here. I don't know if I'm brave enough to find it though. That is isn't about the limit. Oh Lord. 2.6. This is going to be so close to a 159. Come on, come on, we need 1.2 tenths of a second, go on, oh yes, what are you saying, what are you saying, a 159, oh, I did not think, I did not think that that bike would get in the 59s, I am genuinely impressed. What do you reckon? Top 50, top 40, top 30? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. How much faster is it? Oh, go on. So, 159.8208, so 1.5 seconds faster than the Mr. Martini. 29th inside the top 30. I'll take that. There can't be another GSX-R for 2014 above that, surely not. But no, there's not even another Suzuki. Oh well, there you go. Top fastest Suzuki, all the GSX-Rs. That one's fastest, 2014. Told you it was quick. Just had a feeling in my water, my druid fluid, that, uh, that it was going to be quite a quick bike. And there you go, that'll do it for this one then. Uh, next time, oh, let's have a look. Next time, next time, next time, we get the GSXR out. We're going to be, oh, Winter Lagos, yes. Inter Lagos and Kailami, two of my favourite tracks. But yeah, Inter Lagos for a five lapper, um, and we'll see how she goes around there. But thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, all the usual jazz, and fingers crossed I will. See you next time. Take care, stay safe, peace.